Is Alpha Brain a safe supplement? And why do so many people complain about side effects? Well, let's find out. Hey, what's up? Greg here, the founder of your Inception. Welcome to my channel. If you want to learn top secrets about nootropics and supplements, then subscribe below to start your journey. Today, we're gonna talk about Alpha Brain. Specifically, we're gonna look at some side effects that people often report. Now, I'm not sure if you knew, but Alpha Brain is one of the most popular brain supplements or nootropic stacks on the market. And until 2020, there were over 1 million bottles sold, according to the data I found on, on it. So, I mean, if a supplement brand can sell so many supplements like Alpha Brain is, um, then probably there aren't such big issues with the supplement. Or are they? Well, in this video, I wanna talk about the side effects. So here's what I've decided to do. I, I did my research before that. I checked different comments I found on Reddit, uh, on YouTube channels and so on. I even got some requests from some of my fellow biohackers and my followers at your inception. And I decided to go into this topic and try to figure out what is going on with Alpha Brain. So when it comes to side effects, people most often report the following side effects. Some have issues with anxiety, some suffer from nausea, some have issues with sleeplessness, and some have issues with headaches. I found some other issues. Uh, I found an example of a guy who was vomiting um, and, and some other cases, but in general, those are the most commonly mentioned side effects. So the first thing I thought about was, well, probably there must be one ingredient that is totally overdosed or somehow negatively reacts with other compounds in this entropic stack, and it must be this ingredient causing the issues. The challenge with Alpha Brain is that most compounds that you can find in the stack are actually part of proprietary blends. This means we don't know the exact dosage of each individual compound that is in Alpha Brain. And of course, because we don't know the exact dosage, we don't know if there is one compound that is overdosed. Now, based on my experience, I actually had no issues with Alpha Brain whatsoever. If you want to check my full experience with Alpha Brain, click up here. Um, but yeah, I had no issues with side effects whatsoever. Since we don't know if there is one compound that is overdosed, I thought about something else. So maybe there is one compound in this entropic stack that is causing the issue. So I checked, I went through all the ingredients and actually found three potentially risky compounds. One is Vimpocetin, the other one is Huperzin A, and the third one is Cat's Claw Extract. Now, the thing with, with Cat's Claw Extract, we actually know the dosage. It is about 350 milligrams of Cat's Claw in this supplement. Now, this is a okay dosage, and I don't think it is this exact compound causing the issue, since we know the dosage and we know that this compound is not overdose or completely overdose. However, since we lack some studies in this compound, it could be that it's causing some issues in some people. And the funny thing was when I was searching reviews on this compound, I saw actually some potential side effects such as nausea, uh, such as headaches, uh, diarrhea, and that kind of stuff that people experienced when they were taking this compound. So yeah, it could be cat's claw causing the issues, but I'm not really sure. Now, Vimpocetin brings similar side effects as cat's claw, so it could also be Vimpocetin causing that. But the most interesting one, and potentially the most problematic one, is Huperzin A. And the thing is, Huperzin A is a very effective compound uh, for cognitive performance. However, if you take it on a daily basis for long periods, it could cause certain issues. Actually, it could cause all the mentioned issues. Um, and the thing is that many people take nootropic supplements on a daily basis and quite often people do not cycle the supplement. So they do not take it for a couple of days on, they stay a couple of days off, uh, but they just take it and take it and take it. And this could cause the problem. So if you take Huperzin for a longer period uh, without cycling it, yeah, this could potentially bring certain side effects in certain people. Now, of course, it could be something else as well. So maybe certain people react to those ingredients in such a way that then causes the side effect. Or it could be the third thing, which is maybe some people take the centropic supplement on an empty stomach. Because the thing is, when I tried different tropic supplements, and as you probably know, I tried uh, hundreds of different supplements and at least 50 of those were tropic supplements, when I tried them on an empty stomach, many of them caused uh, similar side effects. I had stomach pain, I felt sick, I felt like I'm gonna vomit. I never did actually, um, or well, maybe I did once. Um, but yeah, so I, I was feeling the exact same side effects. So 
it could be um, that people take this nootropic supplement on an empty stomach, or at least those people that they take it on an empty stomach, maybe they have more issues. Well, the question is, what was your experience with Alpha Brain? Did you try it out? Did you have any issues? And if yes, um, you know, let me know in the comment section below. It would be really interesting to know. And by the way, if you like this video, guys, please press the like button below. So the final question is, um, what should you do? How can you avoid side effects if you take Alpha Brain? So in my opinion, based on my experience, my research, I don't think you have anything to worry about because yes, it happens to some people. Um, it even happened to a fellow biohacker that, you know, he had some, some similar issues, but in, I think this is still very, very rare. And if it wasn't, then you would see thousands of negative uh, comments and feedbacks and so on. And that's really not the case. But if you do experience issues with Alpha Brain, the first thing you can do is you can decrease the amount of capsules that you're taking. Now, Alpha Brain, I think, recommends two capsules per day. That's a serving size. Um, so instead of taking two capsules per day, you can start by taking one capsule per day. And if you do that, well, you will see. If you still get some side effects, then maybe Alpha Brain is not the right supplement for you. But if you don't, well, stick with one capsule for a while and then try again with increasing the dosage. The second thing you need to do, or you can do if you want to, is you can take or try taking this supplement with food or after you eat something. Now, many people take Alpha Brain on an empty stomach, not just Alpha Brain, also other nootropic supplements. By the way, if you wanna check some of my favorite top rated nootropic supplements as an alternative to Alpha Brain, click up here. Um, so yeah, instead of taking it on an empty stomach, try to eat some food, try to eat the breakfast or something, and then um, again, compare the results and you will see if you still get some side effects or not. The last thing you need to do is do not take Alpha Brain in the evening. Um, do not take it before you go to bed because this could, of course, cause sleeplessness. So really the final, final question is, do I still recommend Alpha Brain or not? Well, based on my experience, based on the review that my team did, um, I don't see any reasons why you wouldn't take Alpha Brain. It's a great supplement, very popular, very effective, has really cool ingredients in. We don't know the dosages, that's why it's not the top rated nootropic supplement but it's a very good one and many people are satisfied with it. So yes, I still recommend it and I don't see any reason why I wouldn't recommend it. However, if you're one of the unlucky guys um, that have issues, um, that you know, suffer from some side effects, or you're not satisfied with what's happening when you take Alpha Brain, then yeah, try to take the steps that I mentioned or search for an alternative. Uh, there are many out there and you know, you're gonna be fine. I, I anyway recommend trying different tropic stacks for yourself and see how they impact your health, your performance and so on. So guys, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. Don't forget to follow your reception on Facebook and Instagram and I hope to see you soon again. Take care.